Hello, hello, everyone. We are back for round four of Kuwakani's Solo League. Uh, I know we are just a few days removed from the end of the third round, but that was the end of that round and the beginning of this one, and I'm actually motivated to play this time around and had some free time. So let's go ahead and let's let's, let's knock this down. So the idea for this one, because it's, it's we're in the spooky season, is that uh, we are going to be going hardcore is the required promotion, and we have to go to Philadelphia every single turn. Now, I've already had a couple scores put down in the league, and they are bonkers ass high. Um, off the board in one case, which um, I didn't know was possible. So, uh, you know, we'll go through this one and, and see how it goes. Uh, I'm hoping to get a, a reasonably high score here. Let's make sure we shuffle everything, because we forgot last time. Roll to see who goes first. Oh, hey, look, it's me. Look, I got the first player token. Uh, and let's go ahead and get started. So we'll, we'll pay our one for our venue, and then we'll lay out our marketplace for the very first time. Rain Dragon. Jaden Prince. Mothman Martin. Bad Moon Otagami. Toby McCoby. Hector Edwards. Mercy Killing. Sarah Star. Kaylee and Maya. Now, for those of you who don't know, Philadelphia, the thing around it is that hardcore wrestlers get plus two star power. Sports entertainers get negative one star power. So we're going to be looking to obviously get as many hardcore wrestlers as we possibly can. Also, I apologize for this weird, like, glow here. I've got, like, my printer and the sun is going down. So... Yeah, it's fine. You don't want to look at my face anyways. So we're obviously going to try and get as many uh, hardcore wrestlers as we possibly can. Um, and the nice thing is that those are the cheapest ones. Uh, so hardcore is one of the promotions that probably gets off the blocks the quickest. Uh, it is probably the one that you can get the fastest start with because you can get a lot of guys cheaply. Philly is a very cheap venue and you can, you can steamroll that into a lot of momentum. Um, and also we have... Uh, the bonus of hardcore, which gives you a bonus to the work rate. So you're going to get plus one work rate and plus two star power to every hardcore wrestler you sign, and they're pretty cheap. So that ends up being a pretty good money proposition. Now, in multiplayer games, this is difficult. Um, it, it can be difficult because a lot of times, not only are you competing with other hardcore wrestlers, but a lot of the times you're competing against other strong style wrestlers who might run Montreal. Uh, so in, in those sorts of games, it's difficult to get everybody you want necessarily. And you might get some people because these guys are so cheap that just buy them to block you off anyways. So you, you really still kind of have to fight with a lot more other people in hardcore than you would necessarily in like sports entertainment or certainly like Lucha Libre. So that is one of the disadvantages, but you do get an advantage here not being solo. You don't have to worry about that. However, the marketplace is smaller overall. You're going to see less cards. So let's go ahead and start off. Enough, enough of my yak and let's see how this goes. So I'm going to go with the better wrestler Mercy Killing here first to sign him. So we'll start off with our two bucks. And flip this over. Okay, that's Sling Blade. Bad Moon Otagami. We're going to sign for another two bucks. Flip over the next wrestler. Whisper. Okay, so Whisper... We're going to pick up for $3. So we'll get our five, get back two. If we can get one more, then we can just really kind of focus on upgrading our journeyman. Um, you know, which if we can get that or upgrading our jobbers to journeyman, which if we can get a good start on that, we'll be in a really good spot. Okay, so we didn't get lucky enough to get the fourth. So let's see. We want to try and grab, we got to grab one more wrestler, one way or another. Uh, do we have anybody here we could grab for cheap? So we do have Sarah Star, we get for cheap. We have Jaden Prince, we get for cheap, but then he'd be like a zero. He would actually, no, he wouldn't match up with uh, Mercy because he's going to get the bonuses. Um, we could get like Maya for two bucks. We get Mothman Murph. We got, we got a lot of like value options here uh, in the event that we, we have to kind of uh, bail out and we can't get another hardcore wrestler. Uh, so let's see, we've got 15, 16, 17 dollars left. I'd like to get four jobbers upgraded this turn. So that's gonna be 12 dollars. So let's one, two, three, four. And then that'll leave me five dollars left over. So I could buy like a special announcement card. So actually, mm, let's do this the other way around. Let's buy our special announcement first. Because I know I have enough money to do the upgrade if I need to. 
Special announcement. They have been shuffled. Flipped. Cross promotion. Okay. So, I don't remember if um, Kua had to pull this out of there. But, for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to effectively play this as gaining, you gain $10. I mean, I don't know. Is that cheating? I, I'm not sure. Oh, maybe I'll just set it aside. Whatever. It's not what I wanted anyway. So, we're going to spend our 12 bucks, And we're going to plop out our four jobbers for four journeymen. Boop. 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 We're going to move these folks over to the side. And now we got two about two dollars left. We gotta sign somebody. So I think Maya is probably gonna be the best signee for this in this particular situation. Yeah, so we'll get Maya for two bucks. Have her be the the odd Lucha Libre wrestler on the show. So we'll flip that over. Group them together. Flip. Shuffle it up. Draw our opener. <laughs> So, ha <laughs> ha, oh, oh, good start, good start. All right, well, jobber, jobber, journey, 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 Maya. Actually, the at least the journeyman and Maya match up in terms of numbers. They don't get the synergy, but. And then draw two more off the top. Oh, <laughs> bad Monona got me in a journeyman. And then two more off the top. And whisper and mercy killing. Okay, I mean, at least I got to play everybody. So it's not that big of a deal, you know. You don't get the matchups you would have wanted. I guess I would have given my druthers put Otagami and Whisper together. All in all, not, not like the worst thing in the world here. So, let's go ahead and move on to our money. So we'll start off with our jobbers. No, nope, that's show quality. Uh, jobbers get no money. Our journeyman get $4.00. Maya, so four, eight, and then, uh, all right, so I'll do the eight, and then I gotta actually do, like, real math here at this point. <laughs> By, like, real math, I mean, like, other addition that's I haven't done a thousand times before. So this is five, because Bad Moon gets plus two, so five dollars, boom. And then for this one, Mercy Killing is two, Whisper is five, so two and five is seven, so five, six, seven so we've got twenty dollars right now which is not super great but hardcore's cheap so we might we can get away with this and we've already got four jobbers upgraded moving on to show quality jobbers get one journeyman get two maya and the journeyman get two the bad moon on agami and the journeyman even though bad moon gets the plus one that's quality of two and then mercy killing and whisper so that's four and three so that's a three quality match. So we've got six, nine, ten. So plus one reputation to start off with. So pretty, pretty basic, pretty underwhelming start. Um, but not bad. You know, pretty, this is a pretty average start for most wrestlers in general. So flip. And then get back here, bring these all back. Group, flip, shuffle, and then uh, so we're on to our next turn. So I'll pay my one dollar. I'm gonna get the ten bucks. I'm gonna just play play this and get the ten dollars. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make a splash on the leaderboard anyway. So fuck it. That seems that seems reasonable anyways. The the phantom promotion gets a extra reputation and I get ten bucks. So, all right. So then with that, we will draw our new marketplace, shuffle that up nice and good, and start off with our next round. Dustin Lightning Tiger, Bud Drinker, Andy Fidom, Adam Barcelona, Joshi Queen, Mercy Killing again, Double M, that's nice, Brian Golem, Daredevil Damon, Jay and Sienna. All right, so we're obviously gonna get these two guys. So pick up Mercy Killing again for two bucks. One, two, Rock steady, no. Double M, yes. One, two. Hope we can get one more. Yeah. Do I want to spend a five run bot? Yeah, I'll spend a five run bot. Actually, that's ex that's extremely good value for 
him being hard because a 7-3 for $5. Yeah, we'll, we'll be okay with that. But we're stuck at the three guys again. We're one short. Okay. Um, so we've got $20 left. Uh, I'm going to spend $6 and upgrade my final two uh, jobbers to journeyman. Three. Four back. Flip. One. Two. I love, like, you know, again, this is like the, if you're like a new player to book it or anything like that, like... Having all of your jobbers upgraded by turn two is usually a pretty good path to get on. Um, because the money you get from the journeymen really stack up. And they're probably one of the only cards in the game that really consistently actually make you, like, make you money. Um, or as, like, a lot of the wrestlers, it's obviously they're making money back or they're giving you a reputation or whatnot. Journeymen are actually a very, very good value. So you really want to get them upgraded as soon as possible. So Warhorse, if you're watching this... Even though you didn't come to my house for tacos last night, like I asked you to, because you were in Syracuse, uh, you uh, that's that I'll still I'll still give you some hot tips as far as that goes. So, uh, so we've got one more wrestler we've got to sign um, again. I'll try I'll I'll try and pick up a special announcement here. I could actually probably get a couple. Talent scout, bam! All right, here we go. So we'll play this. We'll look at the top five cards. One, two, three. There's genocide. Four. There we go. Five. So now we can spend some money. Uh, monkey is a real good value, though. I could get them both, but then I'd have to buy somebody else in the market. I could just buy Nippon Playboy. All right, so we're going to do that. So we'll put these three back on because we don't care about what order they're in. We're going to put in Insane Gorilla on top. We're going to sign Genocide for six bucks. So we'll get... Uh, four back which will just do that like that now we got a fiver i'll spend one dollar on playboy one two three four and then hey look it's insane gorilla and go one two three and then we'll have a dollar left over so end our turn there group them together get rid of this stuff Flip. Never move the turn tracker up. Boink. Put that on top. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Draw our opening hand of six cards. So we've got we've got the perfect match in Bud and Genocide. So this is this is where the rocket ship uh, blasts off the launch pad here. Um, this is actually even a pretty good setup with Mercy Killing and the Monkey. And then we'll run. Double M and Playboy and then two journeyman matches. Boop. Boop. So there we go. So yeah, this is this is gonna be a banger. This is gonna be pretty good, actually. Um So first we'll start off by getting the money from our reputation, a whopping two dollars. And then uh, starting off with Bud, Drinker, and Genocide. So there, whoo, 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 holy shit. Uh, seven each. So 14 and two for the synergy bonus is $16. So 10, 15, 16. We've got uh, Gorilla Mercy Killing, who's not going to be a lot of money, but it's still pretty good value. So we've got $2 and $3 respectively. So five, another five bucks for this match. Uh, Double M and Nippon Playboy is going to get me three dollars. One, two, three. And then these journeyman matches are each going to get me four. So we'll do eight there. Five, six, seven, eight. Stack this all up. So we've got ten, twenty-five, thirty-two dollars. 35 going into our next turn, which good. That's good. That's pretty good. So off to the races we go. Ticket sales, Bud Drinker and Genocide. So these are two work rate bumped to three work rate because of hardcore. So they're going to have a four quality match. We're going to have a three and a three. They're going to be bumped to four each. And they're, with the Synergy, going to have a five-quality match. 
Double M and Nippon Playboy are going to have a two quality match because Double M will get bumped to three. So still not bad. Um, better use of Nippon Playboy if you can get away with it. Journeyman, Journeyman 2. Journeyman and Journeyman 2. So we have 6, 11, 15 for this one. So boop, boop, boop. And again, as I said, this is this was probably about, about as good a turn of two as I could have hoped for given the first turn I had. I couldn't really do much more in terms of money. Um, but I got two of the bigger money makers. I got two of the bigger work rate guys, uh, and then a solid rest of the show. So, um, you know, that was, that was real good. Very happy with that. So let's set all these homies aside. Now, if we could get like another talent scout or something like that, cause that's going to be the key to this. It's just making sure that there's hardcore wrestlers available in the market. So. Group these together. These two on my hand. Group. Flip. On turn three we go. It's, it's funny how much quicker this game goes when you're just playing by yourself and, you know, you've played it 3,000 times before. So we'll shuffle up the marketplace, spend my $1 for the venue, and then draw. Dan Gan, good start. Gladiator Lee, good start. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this trio. Dan Gang, Gladiator Lee, was, this is like FMW heaven. Holy crap. Speaking of which, I still have to see that dark side of the ring. I was like screwed up on Sling so I can watch it. Jack Love, this is an amazing, oh my god, this is an amazing starting board. Holy crap. Um, wow. If, if I didn't see another wrestler, this would still be a baller board. Holy cow. Um, all right, well, let's just start... Let's start working. Whisper for three bucks. And Mercy Killing. Oh my god. Mercy Killing for two dollars. Daredevil Demon. No. We'll get uh We'll get Dan Gan next because he's got perfect center. No, he doesn't. Okay. Let's still get him next. We're gonna get We're gonna get Gladiator Lee anyways, so it doesn't really matter the order. Flip. Actually, we should get Mox Ambrosia, because Mox Ambrosia, especially in hardcore, especially in Philly, uh, is the one of the best money propositions in the whole game. She is a 6-3 uh, for 4, which is real damn good. Um, Jack Love will definitely get for $7 here. I still got to get Gladiator Lee, 5, 6, 7. Oops, we got to replace, so Jane Sienna... Filipino Dave, no. Gladiator Lee here for three dollars. That's good. And now we've we've hit the wall, but oh boy, what a big opening we got here. This is this is pretty fantastic. Um so we've got eleven dollars left over, so we'll go ahead, we'll we'll pick up a special announcement. No reason not to. We've got the money. Uh okay, unreliable source is garbage. Uh three bucks here, we'll get another one. Card subject to change. That could definitely be helpful. And we'll we'll fill out the hand. Just, you know, we might as well. Spend money to make money. Okay, hometown prodigy. So, you know. We can use we can use two of the three of those cards. Flip that. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Draw up our opening hand. Six. No, we'll keep that stuff around. We'll delete this because that's from the last turn. Just in case I need to like double check my money or I screwed up or anything. It's a good habit to keep. Just set your money you spent from from the turn off to the side. Just to make sure that you didn't, you know, fuck up the math or anything. Um, so let's start off. Do we have any perfect ones here? We've got a 5-3. We've got three threes and two twos. So I guess we will we'll pair up the twos. Because we want the work rate to pair more than we care. We care more about the work rate pairing than the money. And now we've got a two, two, three. So not not a great pair there. So we'll do, actually I might, let me see. Jack Love, Dan Gan. I might actually just put these two against Journeyman because, well, no, Gladiator Lee, that will, that will not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, well, no, that's not true. Hang on, I can, Gladiator Lee and then a Journeyman and then Hometown Prodigy, the Journeyman, and I'll still, It'll still be like a round down situation, but you know, it still won't be bad. So I'm gonna 
Hometown Prodigy. This card's name is Hometown Prodigy. It is not Rookie of the Year. It says it right there. I will, this card is getting redesigned when we do a new edition of this game because everybody calls this card Rookie of the Year. It drives me crazy. Um, all right. So starting off with Whisper and Mox Ambrosia, we've got uh, five uh, and six respectively. So uh, we've got $11. five, six. So for Jack Love, we got seven. So we've got a seven and a four. So that's $11. So that's 10 and one. And before we forget, uh, we've got $8 off of our reputation. So five, six, we'll just grab from the old money, seven, eight. And then uh, Gladiator Lee and Journeyman. So we got four. So we got $6 here. Five, six, got two and two so that's four dollars here we got five we'll throw one back and then four dollars here so we got five we'll throw one back so five ten fifteen twenty thirty one dollars off of the show alone and then we got uh we're, we're you know good good money off the rep so we've got twenty forty six dollars right now to go into turn to go into turn four which is pretty, pretty, pretty good. All right, show quality wise. Ambrosian Whisper, four quality match. Uh, Dan Gan and Jack Love, five quality match. Uh, Gladiator Lee and Journeyman is going to be a three quality match because we bumped his up to four. So we'll discard that. Journeyman and Mercy Killing, that is going to be a three quality match. <laughs> two Journeymans, two quality match. So now we've got uh, eight, 17, which is still going to be another plus three. So one, two, three. So another another really good round. Um, you know, bumping it up another three. It's pretty killer. So let's continue on. Flip them over. No one, No one held on in the roster here. Everyone getting used every turn so far. Group up, flip. All right, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Delete all this old stuffle. Got a card subject. Actually, I didn't need to. It was it was pretty perfect. It was basically what I wanted. I might try and like use some extra money to just buy a dirt sheet and clear that out of my hand if I can. So, Geno side, Sling Blade, Filthington Kenneth, Sashimi Politics, Shinmaka Hero, Essex, Monkey, Body Count, Mothman, and Namor Makaukulani. So we'll start off with Insane Gorilla, obviously, who's just a staple of our promotion at this point. I don't know if we had him last turn, but we had him the first turn this turn four, too, by the way. So. Whoop. Flip that over, Whisper, so good. Another three dollars. One, two, three. Gladiator Lee, another three dollars. We'll get two back here. One, two. Bad Times Tonga, so we'll take in Sashimi Politics for five bucks. Flip. Justin Lightning Tiger, Genocide for six bucks. Six. You are welcome. All right, so we've, we've, we've slammed the wall again here. So now it's a question of, you know, how much do we want to save up money and how much do we want to make sure that we have, like, good shows. So I, so we've got a lot of, with the bonus, got three three-way work rate guys and two four work rate guys. So I want to try and buy somebody else who will be good. Namor ain't going to, would be bad. Um, we get Shin. We'll get Shin. I get Shen for eight bucks and get two dollars back. So we'll do it that way. Um, grab another special announcement. Driving buddy, okay. Um, ah, Dan Yan comes up here, perfect. Well, actually, yeah, no, no, it's a five, one back. All right, and then Federales. Here. So I could like could driving buddy somebody in here. This is the old driving buddy, so it is gonna be a wrestler with like a wrestler of two or less, two star power or less that we've gotta bring in. Which we could get uh 
No, nobody really fits that. We'll save that for the next turn, I think. Might end up using this card subject to change, though. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Draw six. Oh, good. <laughs> well, the good thing is that we've got the uh, card subject to change, but we do have to put all of these journeymen on this show. Dan Gan and Shin, and I don't even get the draw off of that. Genocide and Lee. And then I do get to draw three more. So I've at least got a couple guys in my pocket for the next turn. Um, so I will use the card subject to change just to try and salvage this. We'll put Monkey and Dan Gan here. Uh, Lee and Genocide are kind of where they gotta be. I think everything else is okay. Um, because then that's even out. You know, I don't have any weird decimals or weird rounding. So. Okay, ticket sales phase. So we've got uh, seven, so $14. So we'll just do 10, five, move this one out. And uh, let's see, money-wise. So Dan Gannon and Insane Gorilla, three and four, so $7. So one, two, seven. We've got four and eight from these, so we're just gonna do a 10 and throw back two. Journeyman and Nakahiro get seven, five, six, seven. And Lee and Genocide get seven, and four is 11. So I guess we'll just, there we go, $11. So stack these up. So we've got 30, 45, or 30, 55, $58 right now. That's what we've got. So let's go ahead and move on to show quality. So this is a five. This is a two. This is a two. This is a three. And this is a four. So not quite as good as before, 10, 16, still three. I mean, we're, we're very consistently one, two, three. We're very consistently just getting the three every time. Um, and then one, three, three, three. Okay, yeah, that was four turns. Just wanna make sure we're not like turn five or anything, so. Decent turn, obviously not as good as last time, but we do have two hardcore wrestlers uh, in our back pocket here that we can start with, so. You know, that's a good thing. Flip. Flip. So on to turn five we go. Group y'all up. Group y'all up. Flip. Back in. Whole bunch of shuffling. Spend my dollar for the venue. Hopefully I've remembered to do that every turn and I haven't cheated. Delete. Delete. And then draw venue. Michael Lay. Jean Sienna, Kendo, Valentine, haven't seen her yet, Dan Gan, Sarah Star, Katana, Mothman, Body Count, Pajaro de Fuego. So, well, these two are actually a perfect match, so that's a good start. And considering we've already got two, so we're gonna do just throw the five away, we're gonna get one back. So that's a good start. And Valentine, it's gonna be the same thing. Five, one back. So now we now we now we've hit the wall again. So we're gonna have to try and dig some special announcements to hope that we can talent scout or file a video that helps. Uh, I'm gonna buy a dirt sheet. It'd be really good if I could just lousy reputation here. No, double booked. I have to wait till the booking phase to get rid of this uh, unreliable source on my hand. Oh, driving buddy too. Did I? I could have. Oh, I could have driving buddied. Well, you know what? I might have a better a better driving buddy opportunity here, actually. Because uh, I could driving buddy, like, Kendo into Katana, which is probably the better play. So I think I'm going to do that. So $6 for Kendo. And then we'll get Katana for free, which is a mighty good way to use that card. We'll clear up two spots in the market, which just fills up with fucking... Sports Entertainment and Lucha Guys, but it also does open up another special announcement spot in our hand. So, five, two, back, flip, hot crowd, okay. 
So, not much else we can do as far as that goes. I think I would rather just keep the money. I mean, I could get like Body Count and Mothman would work well together. Paharo and Hiho. So now I'm like in a situation where like, do I want to save money or do I want to spend money in service of putting on a better card? And that's a tough, tough choice, actually. Um, that is quite a tough choice. I think I'm going to save it. And... Just try and go kooky pants in the uh, in the sixth turn. I think. I think that that's I think that's the right thing to do, and I could be totally wrong. Hey, hmm. You know what? I'm gonna be cheeky. That'll be next turn. I don't think that that's, I don't think that that's, that's illegal. I think that, uh, we'll see. We'll see. That's going to be really funny. Uh, so group flip. So shuffle, 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 shuffle. Draw six. God, this is a bad start. This is actually the worst start. Not the worst, but short of a five journeyman hand. Two. Wow, this fucking sucks. This is where this run dies. Oh, well. I mean, it's still an okay show, but definitely we're not going to... Uh, well, hmm. Actually, eh, okay. We, we, we've, we're we're going to come out okay of this. So starting off with money for our reputation, we get $20. 20 bucks. Bang. There we go. Then uh, for Dangan and Katana... Uh, they are going to be, so four and two respectively, so six dollars. Six bucks. Kendo and Journeyman is five dollars. We've got eight dollars between these two. So five, six, actually we'll just do ten. We'll throw back two here. And then uh, for Valentine and Journeyman, that is another six dollars. So five and one. All right. So, we made what, like uh, $20 ish from the show, which considering how bad the draw was, isn't, isn't terrible. Not the end of the world. Boop. Boop. Show quality time. Five. For Katana and Dan. God, that would be such a dope ass match. All right. Kendo and Journeyman are going to be three bucks, or three. Journeyman and Journeyman are going to be two. Journeyman and Journeyman are going to be two. Journeyman and Katana are going to be three. So, actually still a 15? <laughs> I'm really consistently getting three every time. Um, so I can't really complain. Still very solid cards every time. And I have two... I have Sashimi Politics and Whisper left over. So, boop, 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 boop. Boop. Group together, flip. Group together, flip. Put them all back. Group together, flip. And get rid of these. So now we are on to the final turn of the game. Oh, I'll play my final video too. I'm going to play that and bump them up one rep. Oh, I could have done my hot crowd. Uh, we're going to say that, I, well, five. We're going to say I played my hot crowd, too. I'm, I'm retroactively doing it, so we're up to 15 there. Optimizing. That's what we're doing. So that was, uh, yeah, that was, that make that in 18, which is actually the best use of hot crowd there. Uh, and then final video, so. So I've got that. Uh, so now we're into the venue, so... Play for Philadelphia, and then book double book says target player must exchange their current venue for any unused venue, ignoring all costs. Uh, now, in the rules of Kuakani Solo League, it does specifically state that you can 
buy dirt sheets and play them on yourself if you want. And his rules say that you have to go to Philadelphia. They do not say that you have to stay in Philadelphia. So I'm going to double book myself. And uh, for the last turn, we are going to ignore the rules of, of the game there. <laughs> um, and instead of going to Philadelphia, where else can we go? Um, LA makes the most sense, right? I will go to LA. We're going to go, we're going to go to LA. Wrestlers of Force Star of Power, I get plus two. I don't get the bonus from Whisper, but I do from Sashimi. And then we're just going to try and ball out and just see what happens. This is actually very funny. And I don't have to pay for it. Los Angeles cost me a dollar. <laughs> so that's, he's going to laugh when he sees this. This is, this is actually quite funny. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get the, uh, Ooh, Jane Sienna. Well, that's definitely somebody I want for a frickin'. Although, well, I'm not in Philly anymore, so. <laughs> Namor, Joshi Queen, Roadhouse Randy, Sarah Star, Gladiator Lee. So, uh, yeah, we're just, let's see. Uh, well, we'll get Roadhouse Randy because he actually plays into both the venue and the promotion. So, Roadhouse Randy. We're going to spend six bucks for him. We're going to get, if we can get like Jack. Jack Love to show up or something. That'd be fantastic. But we... So, uh... Namor or Jane? I guess I'll get them... I'll probably end up getting them both. But do I want to spend... I guess I'll spend an extra dollar for the extra two dollars. That makes sense, right? So, ten bucks for Jane. This is this is the show where we sell out. Move to LA. Um... Let's see. I guess we'll get Namor then. Namor for nine. So, ten. And we'll get one back. Rain Dragon for seven. Five, six, seven. Now I have to remember that I don't get the bonus, the, the star power bonus on my hardcore guys, so I gotta try not to cheat as far as that goes. Um, so now we are out of that. But we could still benefit off of these hardcore guys if we get them. I will try and draw some special announcements here just to see maybe I can convention weekend turn engagement that's worthless and hey another <laughs> jesus christ all right well never mind then um so i guess now we'll just try and move into the hardcore wrestlers so we'll just get gladiator lee for three bucks get uh two back might draw into some other kv car not high enough dan gan for four bucks on back Monkey for three bucks. Two, three. And COD to Angelo. So we'll get double M just because I want to get the potential for the card draw. One, two, three, and the five. And then we'll have like $20, $28 left over. So let's see how this goes. This should be interesting. <laughs> so shuffle it up. Draw six. Okay. Uh, good opener there. Roadhouse, Randy, and Whisper. Draw the four. Give me something. God, fuck. Well, I think that's where the... I, don't, I can't even... I don't even have any other synergy off of these guys, so... This is what... Uh, this is the this is the card we're getting, unfortunately. Damn. That's still kind of funny. <laughs> All right. So we've got Whisper and Roadhouse Randy. Uh, so I guess we'll start off with the reputation bonus, which is 30, uh, quite high. So get that. And now we'll start off with the money wise. So Roadhouse Randy and Whisper do not get the $2 bonus. So they get eight. So I'll just take a 10 and throw back two. Uh, Namor and Rain Dragon get nine, so I'll take a ten and throw back one. Uh, Monkey and Journeyman get three dollars, so one, two, three, uh, and then these get eight, so I'll take a ten. I'll throw back one, two. So, there's that. There's that. Boop, boop, boop. So, so, 80, 120, 126 dollars we have left over. 
is not bad. If I could have gotten record attendance or something, that could have been way high. But still. Um, all right. So, Whisper and Roadhouse Randy. Uh, this is actually going to be... This isn't going to be like a perfect match because Randy gets uh, two. So, this is two and four. Or no, three and uh, five. So, this is eight. So, this is a four quality match. Which is funny because I think it works out to be... Ex no. Yeah, it works out to be the same three and... Yeah, three and five. So it's the same as if they didn't have that bonus there. Uh, this is where we get to go a little kooky pants. So we get a seven quality match here with uh, Rain Dragon and Namor. So that's cool because they're six and six each. Uh, and then uh, Monkey and Journeyman is a three. And then a two. And then a two. So we've got 11, 16... 17 again <laughs> so one two three so 18 rep uh not bad um so let's clear these off cow just pew, flick them off the table there we go um okay so that's the end of the turn it's the end of the game so we are at 18 right now so this is uh four eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, reputation. So 17 and 18 is 35. So, boop, 35, the final rep for the game. No cheating. I got to have a little fun with Los Angeles. That was, that was pretty cheeky. I'm happy I enjoyed that. Uh, nowhere close to the higher end uh, people. So, i uh, consistent from last time, though. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so... That's going to do it. Thanks. Thanks for joining. I'll see you next month, I guess. Bye.